Well, here we are with, uh, with the result of uh, running out of runway. A little bit of damage on the wingtip out here. I'm going to take the skin off. See there's a little bit of, a little wrinkle right here. I don't know if I'm going to have to take the skin all the way off and repair this or if I'm going to be able to rub that out. But new leading edge obviously in the top skin and bottom skin here. And we're going to have to repair the stringers and of course repair that fork out there on the end of the spar. So let the fun begin. Here we go. Drill down. I've been living on a back road I've been living on a dusty, dusty trail Feel like a dusty trail Yeah It's kind of curious to what would actually lay down once I had that relief off of that. So, the top fork ain't bad. Um, there's a little bit of damage, a little bit of bend in it. This bottom fork could need some work, but I think it'll straighten out. See this bottom fork bent right here, but that'll straighten out. It's not torn. And the stringer doesn't look bad. There's something going on right here. And it may be a, a case of being able to rub that out if this isn't damaged. We'll have to get in there and take a look at it. Yeah, but that's not bad there. And the tip rib, very expensive to replace those tip ribs nowadays. I think it's about 400 bucks, but the damage is just right here. Uh, we'll be working on that. Okay, next I'm gonna take this leading edge off. Take these rivets out here and up on the top. The top, of course, is, is undamaged. Well, I mean the top bat, meaning that, but leading edge, of course, and this piece is coming off. There we go. You better look at the, the rib and the spar. Here, I'll bring you in close. be able to put a repair on that, straighten it out, and then put a little little tab in there. Spend a lot of time making tabs when you're fixing the ribs. Yep. So I'd like to point out that when you're taking your, your tip rib off um, jig, I've got to move the, the end of the jig here so that I can access these. And then when you shoot this back on, of course, you've got to take off this little cover that they put on the on the aft section of your tip rib. Yeah, be really, really, really careful with this. Uh, it is so easy to bump into things when you're moving wings around. And even when it's in the jig, a lot of times the guy, guys will uh, make a brace and actually attach it, and even just tape it so that you're, so that, because this is such a vulnerable, a vulnerable piece, and that's a $400 rib. So. I might have to make one of those to show you what to do, but uh, just a little bracket there to hold it, give us some support because uh, if that gets bumped, it, it's, that's a disaster.
I've been walking on the back road. I've been walking. 